Boys and girls, welcome to the most riveting, the most revolutionary and groundbreaking zombies video of all time. Today, we're gonna play every single Treyarch zombies map in one video. You may be wondering, how the fuck is that possible? A zombies game on average takes two hours. And you're exactly right. Here's the challenge that goes along with this video. I play until I get hit by a zombie. Not down, not die, not bleed out, just hit hit. If I get hit, I have to swap to the next map chronologically. We're going from World of War Nocturne Toe and all the way up to Black Ops 4's Ancient Evil, which is the most recent map. I was inspired to do this by Merc Music. He does this very similar concept, but with multiplayer. He plays every single COD multiplayer in a video and times himself to see how many kills he can get under a minute. He compares and contrasts and see which games he did better or worse on. I figured let's do something very similar to that, but with zombies. Take your guesses right now in the comments. Which map do you think I'm going to get the highest round on before getting hit by a zombie? If you have any other ideas, that are similar to this, let me know and I will do it with all of the zombies maps. Funny enough, I actually downloaded World at War and all the DLCs just to do this challenge. For some reason, I lost everything when I got my Xbox One. Anyways, let's hop in. World at War, Nocturne and Toten. Let's see how we do. Talk about nostalgic here. God damn. Nazy zombies. Oh, here we are. Round one. All right. I'm going to make predictions for every map. World at War knocked. They are pretty slow. They're pretty slow to swipe. I'm going to go with round three. Five to start off. I am a little rusty with this, so we will see where we are taken. I'm thinking we grab the all-time classic Car 98K and just pop some heads right now. Hello there. Damn. This is so nostalgic, bro. I haven't played this in forever. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that is so fucking satisfying. This is the problem with Noct. I can never find the last zombie. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I fucking missed. So while I'm playing all these maps, I'm going to talk a little bit about them. Obviously, Nocturne Toe in the first map ever. Super bare bones, especially the World at War version. No secrets there. The map is very slow pace, obviously. The only notable feature about this map is the ray gun, and that has a ton of splash damage and really isn't even that effective. So uh, we're not working with much here. I got to remember that when I get hit, I have to move on to the next map. That's the trickiest part is just remembering because I know subconsciously I'm just going to not pay attention to me getting hit. That's why I got to keep my distance i can't allow myself to get too close there we go i have an official straining order on the zombies the good thing is world of war zombies are particularly slow and not good at being zombies not nah, just kidding these zombies are the best let me see damn i'm trying to think of what i should do should i open up that door and camp up there or should i open up this door and train i think i should camp because when i'm training my odds of getting hit are far more prominent oh here we go Okay, don't want to let him get too close. Honestly, honestly. Ooh, a nuke. I'm gonna open this. Guess I just answered my own question. Also, you may be wondering, how is there any way to tell if I'm cheating and just editing out the parts where I get hit? Believe me, it's not in my best interest to cheat anyways. There's a lot of gameplay I have to gather up here. Plus, you know, I'm up for the challenge. Why would I even upload this video if I was gonna cheat, you know? I'm just as interested as you are to see which map I do the best on and which map I do the worst on. Again, leave those predictions down below. Let's hit the box. Come on. Ray gun. Even though I was complaining about the ray gun earlier, let's get it. Trench gun. Oh, this is the next best thing, actually, boys. Truth be told, I wanted a webcam for this video to make it a lot more personal, but my webcam is about as effective as a donkey with no legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, this gun is actually going to be very good for this challenge. They get close to me, they're just dead. They're just fucked. World of War has some of the most satisfying weapons. Just, oh... Oh, nut. Sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to shoot you right in the dick. As much as I love the Car 90 AK, let's see what we can get. Come on, ray gun, ray gun, ray gun. Or Maltovs. Yeah, the Panzer Shrek. This is the fastest way to die. Oh my fucking god. Dude, the Panzer Shrek? Underrated. I mean, it kills you pretty much instantly if you're anywhere near your own rocket, but, uh, underrated. Okay, he survived that. All right. All right. You're fucking with me. W what what do I do in this situation? I didn't get hit, but I died. Let's just chalk it up as round five. All right, let's hit up Verruckt. The scariest map of all time. My goal for this map is to try to get the power on. All right, here we are. It has been so, so long. Guys, by the way, Jug and Quick Revive are completely useless to me because the minute I get hit, it doesn't matter if I die or not, I have to switch. So those perks are of no use to me. The only perks that are going to be valuable to me on this map are Speed Cola and Double Tap. I'm going to go for it. Risking it for the biscuit, boys. World of War Zombies may not be the best zombies game, but the zombies themselves, some of the best zombies ever. 
They're so easy to maneuver around, yet so unpredictable at the same time. They're not like BO3 zombies where they run at you 400 miles an hour and triple hit you within a millisecond. I'm gonna save up for something better than a starting weapon this match. I mean, knocked her into- Whoa, there's a zombie there. Okay, I got no ammo. Let's open up this couch and uh, let's grab the MP40. Yep, there we go. Hell yeah. That is so satisfying. No, I got hit. I got hit. Round two. Oh my god, I cannot believe that just happened. I gotta respect the challenge, though. See, I'm not cheating. I wish I had more time to talk about Varuk, but, uh, yeah. I fucked up. Shino Numa. I gotta be very careful. I gotta keep my distance. The spawns are everything in these challenges. That's what's gonna screw me or, uh, do me. No, I think the saying is make it or break it, not screw me or do me. Hello, Peter. How's it hanging, Arasaka? Well, let's compare and contrast to the, uh, to the identical Car 98K. Was a good shot. Oh my god, we got Dempsey. Dude, I am a fucking master with the Arasaka, but not the Car 98K. That was... What was that? Four zombies? So yeah, Shino Numa, the first map to introduce Hellhounds, Random Perk Spawn, the Flogger, the Wonder Waff. A lot of cool shit that came with this map. Unfortunately, a lot of people forget about how magnificent this map is. Max Ammo! On round two. Let me reload. There we go. So obviously a lot of you guys are up to date with my analysis series. Basically every Sunday night, I analyze this Treyarch Zombies map chronologically. I've done quite a few of them so far. I have a playlist for that. Definitely check that out. In case I fuck up and don't talk too much about the map, you can check out my analysis series. I made a 10 to 12 minute video talking about Shino Numa. Same thing with Varukt and Noct and all of them, really. That was epic. World of War just feels so good. Firing the weapons, killing the zombies, knifing especially. So what's our goal here? Our goal is to get the Wonder Waff, try to get Speed Cola and Double Tap, and that's pretty much all we can do. Quick Revive, again, useless. Juggernaut, useless. There's no power or Pack-a-Punch. I guess we'll take oh, this. Yeah. All right, we gotta keep our distance for sure. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video. We are gonna keep our distance because the last thing we want is to die on round two again. All right, cool. We don't have much to purchase except for trying to get the one off, really, so, uh, let's get it. Oh, uh, what's this? Okay, uh, well, I'm not disappointed with this. I just feel like, um, yeah, I'm disappointed. Where are those maggots? There are maggots on the ground somewhere. Yep, there they are. Yeah, I got my grenade launcher. Whoa! Round five. I fucking hate myself! Alright, on to the most revolutionary map of all time, Der Ries. This challenge is a lot harder than it looks. I know a lot of you guys are sitting there thinking, man, I could I could last longer than five rounds. You probably could, but it, it's pretty difficult. Der Ries is, of course, the most revolutionary map of all time because it introduced, mwah, Pack-a-Punch. I mean, what an innovation. Also, the teleporters, huge as well. This is pretty much where this entire zombie storyline began. Everything about this map is just incredible. Definitely my favorite World of War map. It's probably, definitely in my top 10 maps of all time. Maybe top five? I would have to think long and hard about it, but uh, it's up there for sure. Just a classic. There we go, round one's done. I feel like this is the map that I could actually do pretty good on because the catwalk is a very good training spot. But again, you know, there are some issues. The Wonder Waff in World of War is a total glitch. But then again, we don't need junk anyways, so. If I don't live to see the Thompson within my hands, I'm going to be a very sad boy. Which is why I probably shouldn't be knifing right now. But you know what? I really don't want to buy the Car 98K again. Knife. 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 All right, let's get out of here. Oh man, I don't have enough. Come on, I need 1,200. Oh, there we go. I can buy the Thompson. Yay! This is going to feel so good. Ready, boys? Oh. Oh, nut. I gotta play World of War Zombies way more often. Again, just, uh, gotta keep our distance here. I plan on living on Darius. This is one of those maps where I, I kinda wanna do good, so, uh, let's do that. Go turn on the power mystery box right there, of course. This is long overdue. So for those of you guys that don't know, there is a glitch with the Wonder Waff on this map. If you shock yourself or splash damage yourself with it, then you automatically lose your Jug ability if you have Jug. Fortunately, or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, uh, we don't need Jug because if I get hit once anyways, challenge is over. You get points under the- Ooh, you do. I didn't even know you could do that in World of War. <laughs> Sorry. So the catwalk is the camping spot for the later rounds, but this is the camping spot for the earlier rounds. Nobody who isn't a psychopath doesn't camp here. I'm just kidding, by the way. Uh, that was a joke. Again, cannot get too close up here. Alright, let's see what we can get. Maybe a wonder off? That would be superb. I deserve some good luck. What the fuck, man? Sorry, gotta trade it out. Come on, wonder off, wonder off, wonder off, wonder off, wonder off, wonder off. 
What is this? Ooh, the Type 100? I don't think there's a single World at War gun that doesn't feel good when shooting it. I, I, like, can you name one? I, I can't. I'll try for the 1-0 off after I've gotten pretty much everything else open. You know, assuming I don't even get hit. You know, that, that's never really a guarantee. That is beauty, miss. Alright, let's get double tap. Here we go. Oh no, hellhounds. Everyone get ready. The Thompson with double tap, by the way, it's like a crack addict as a gun. The Thompson already has a very fast rate of fire. Gotta make sure the dogs don't spawn behind me as well. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No, 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 no. No, I fucked up. Round six. I mean, hellhounds. That's kind of... Uh, uh. All right, well, time to switch to Black Ops. All right, this ought to be interesting. Kino Dirt Toten. We are not going to play the BO1 remasters. That just seems a little unnecessary. We just played those maps, so yeah. You wear of the six. Let's actually grab quick... Ooh, we don't need quick revive. That was almost a waste of points. Black Ops 1 zombies are a lot more swing happy. They will swing far more frequently than the World at War one. So this is actually going to be a lot harder if I'm thinking about it. Should I go for strength with the Olympia... Should I go for the M14? I'm thinking I don't need to buy many things. I'm gonna go with the... Oh, but then... It, actually, let's go with the M14. M14 gang. Hopefully, I will not regret this decision. I just realized it's round one. Why am I shooting? Oh, because I can't get hit. That's why I'm shooting. Man, I am just forgetful. Just breathe it in, ladies and gentlemen. Kino Derto, the most iconic zombies map of all time. Probably the most played map of all time, if you really think about it. Black Ops 1 was the most popular Call of Duty game of all time. Combine that with the fact that Kino is the starting map, so pretty much everyone got their hands on it. I would say that this is the most iconic, the most played ever. It introduced the Thunder Gun, Nova Crawlers, and a couple of other very cool features. Hello! Goodbye. We will go as soon as we have enough to purchase the MP40 and open up the two doors. So I think we'll be here another round. The perks that'll be helpful for us on this map are Double Tap, Speed Cola, and Mule Kick. Again, Jug and Quick Revive, irrelevant for this challenge. I mean, otherwise, you know, I probably would grab it if this was a normal game of zombies, but it isn't. This is really, really good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to get hit on round three. Let's fucking chill, man. Let's chill. All right. Just, just relax. I'm gonna throw a grenade. Just, just relax. Hey, what I say? What I say? Take a, f smoke some weed or something. Relax. I don't even want to approach them. I don't want a knife. I know it's the smarter thing to do, but uh, you know it's actually not. I told myself I wouldn't open up the doors until I had enough of the MP40. But uh, you know what? I think we, I think we'll manage. This video is essentially one giant nostalgia boner. Uh, you know, and a challenge as well, so, you know, I guess, I guess you're getting the best of both worlds. Don't worry, we're gonna get to the modern maps eventually here, so, uh, the nostalgia will slowly wear off as we progress through this video. Let me grab that. Box is actually right there, but I, I ain't rolling the dice in this challenge, alright? You know, I could get a ray gun or a thunder gun, but I gotta also get a china lake which would be a death sentence. If I get anything above round 10, I am going to be a very happy clam, but uh, whoa! We'll stay here for one more round. That's all I trust myself with. After that, we are getting out of here. Usually what I do on Kino is grab the Bowie knife, save up, and then grab Jug, but unfortunately, uh, this isn't your average game of zombies. Yeah, we're getting a little bit overwhelmed. Let me, let me open this up. We're getting a little bit overwhelmed. Oh God, grenades. Grenades. We gotta back ourselves into the corner. You guys should definitely give this challenge a try. It really sharpens your skills. I mean, try not to get hit, period. I mean, when you hop back into a regular game after doing this, you're gonna be fucking fantastic at training. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little bit terrified right now for my safety. For my safety is what I'm terrified about. Back the fuck. Round six. Dude, those hellhounds, they get you every time. All right, five, the Pentagon, let's do it. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Let's get it, boys. Uh, oh my God, this map looks so much cleaner than classified. It looks like they got a broom and swept the place up. All right, we tried the M14 last game. Let's try the Olympia this game. Let's mix things up a little bit. Oh my God, that is satisfying. Oh my God. Too easy, dude, too easy. Olympia, to the head. Ooh, Olympia, do the head. Yikes. Hey, 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 nice tux. <laughs> hey, there's a dress code, tuxes only. God damn. What can we achieve here on five? Well, we can turn on the power, 
We can get Double Tap, we can get Mule Kick, Speed Cola, you know, the usual perks here in this challenge. Uh, we can, I guess, grab the Electric Traps, that's not gonna happen. Five is definitely one of the most underrated maps ever. Don't get me wrong, it did a lot of things wrong, but it did a lot of things right as well. Definitely one of the more chaotic maps. It's fun to play with friends on solo, not quite as much. I'm about to get hit. Ooh, maybe not. <gasps> yes, oh my god, that actually saved me. MPL, I'll take it. They're coming from all angles right now, ladies and gentlemen. We have got to be cautious. Oh, now we don't. Dude, oh, round five. Ironic, we got five on five. <laughs> All right, I'll quit now. Yeah, we're not going to do dead ops. Not quite sure how that would work. Well, actually, I guess it would be pretty... We're not playing it. Ascension. I love this map. Hate the space monkeys, but, uh, I mean, I guess they're important for the map. All right, well, here we are, black and white. Maybe we can get the power on. Kind of doubt it. Ooh, don't want to get too close. I mean, round one is pretty easy, but you never know. Three shots to the head, man, on round one. Dude, can I aim? There we go. Black Ops 1 is very challenging to not get hit. The zombies are a lot faster and stronger than they are in World at War, so... Don't expect to be uh, blown away with my Black Ops 1 performances. Let's just get the hell out of here. My goal is to get the MP5K, rack up a bunch of points, grab my perks, and then hopefully maybe get a Thunder Gun. That would be great. Darius was definitely the most revolutionary map of all time, but Ascension was definitely up there. It had some very good innovations like the Lunar Landers, the Space Monkeys, the two new perks, PhD Flopper, and Stamina, which is in the bumfuck corner of the map over there. It introduced quite a bit. It was sort of like the Black Ops 1 revolution. It did so many things great. And training started on Shinonuma. It was popularized on Kino and exploded on Ascension. This is the map where everybody was training. Nobody camped on this map. You just grab the Thunder Gun, grab Jug, and you just camped up there or at spawn. So many good areas to train on this map. Dude, I don't remember Ascension being this buggy looking. All right, max ammo. Fill up that Colt. Since this map is stupidly easy and has so much space to work with, I feel like I could do very good on this. Again, crossing my fingers right now. I'm not trying to fuck up on Ascension with this much area to train in. Alright, we don't have that much ammo left. Let's go grab a different gun. Let's go- Ooh, I didn't even see that zombie there. Run, 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 run. We don't have much time. And the power is on. Hell yeah. Come on, Thunder Gun, 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 Thunder Gun. Thunder Gun. Ooh, you know what? I'll take that. Not gonna complain about that. Thunder gun, thunder gun, thunder gun, thunder gun, thunder gun, thunder gun, thunder gun. <gasps> pretty good, not gonna lie. Pretty good. This could potentially take us far. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Cause shit like that might happen. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna cop some uh, PhD flopper with this ray gun. This challenge is actually a blessing on Ascension. I don't even need to bother with Quick Revive or Juggernaut. I can just grab PhD, I can cover that. Maybe grab Stamina Up. Maybe Speed Cola. I don't need much, man. Hello, Lunar Lander. How are you? Thank you for joining us today. PhD. Stop trying to dodge my bullets, dude. It's so annoying. Okay, shooting guns in Black Ops 1 isn't as satisfying as World of War, but it's pretty close. I mean, this commando is, uh, is giving me an erection. Normally, I don't like the monkeys, but for this specific challenge, I'm sort of indifferent towards them. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care, because I could just cover this. It's, it's really not even a problem. My arch nemesis. Come on, where you at? Oh, there you are. All right, come on. I'm hoping for stamina up or speed cola. One of those two. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's useless for me. See, even if I get the thunder gun and I get all my perks and I pack a punch and I train properly, no matter what I do, I could still very easily just get hit. So, no matter how well I set myself up for success, anything could go wrong. Which is why I don't think people should be too critical in the comments. On any map, if you can get past round 10 doing this challenge, you should honestly be very proud of yourself. It is a lot harder than it looks. Let's actually just ride this. Let's get Pack-a-Punch open. And we are back at spawn. Well, normally I'd be terrified right now, but I do have my trusty ray gun with PhD. Best combo in Black Ops 1. Ooh, a death machine. Let's run for it. <gasps> oh, that was almost bad. All right, we got it though. We got it. Hell yeah. Death Machine actually really isn't that good in Black Ops 1. In Black Ops 3, it's phenomenal, but in this game, on the later rounds, it's it's pretty much a ticket to die if you run around with this thing. Dude, that is so cool, but also really fucking annoying. Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Oh my god. Die, move, 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 move. Move, you fucking assholes. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we got an insta-kill. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. 
Ooh, ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hell yeah. Is that the last one? We're gonna go and uh, get the other Lunar Landers going. I kind of want to actually upgrade. All right, there we go. Holy shit. Well, that was close. All right, that is two out of three. All right, let's do this. All right, there we go. Hopefully we can uh, get Pack-a-Punch now before I get hit. Oh, there he is. You know what? Not gonna risk it. Okay, all right. Never thought I'd say this, but monkeys, go ahead and take my quick revive. While they're distracted, I'm actually gonna go and activate the rocket because I would like to do that before getting hit by a monkey. Oh, they're stealing PhD as well. Yay, I did it. I blew it up. Now let's go save PhD. Fuck off. There you are, you stupid little shits. All right. Max ammo. Definitely not panicking while I run across the map to grab stamina up and then run back. Dude, back when the ray gun was actually good. You guys remember that? Oh, that that crawler almost was was the end of this. Sort of freaking the fuck out right now. Let's let's not die. How about that? Carpenter? Hell yeah. Nuke? Hell yeah. Death machine? Hell yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that was close. Right, well, I guess we'll grab that. Let's just go upgrade, man. Not even gonna think about it. I'm not gonna try to upgrade the commando. It's go big or go home right now. I'm not trying to upgrade the commando. We just gotta get this ray gun as powerful as it can be. I mean, I don't want to throw in the towel here, but holy shit. Yep, there it is. Uh, what is it? Round 15. Fuck a crawler! Call of the Dead. I just made an analysis video on this map. Let's get it. I, I just I don't know about Call of the Dead. Love the map. Definitely one of the best maps of all time, in my opinion. Don't know how well I'm gonna do on this challenge with it. I don't even know which gun I should be trying to achieve right now. Should I go for the MP5K? Should I go for the MPL? What should I be doing? I, d I don't really know with this map. Hey, George. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, you thought that was funny? Yeah? Dare I try to knife a zombie on round one? I fucking tried, and I got one hit. You know what? I am very upset about that. I am very upset about that. Call of the Dead round one. Why did I try to knife him? There is no consistency with this man. <laughs> it's basically if I'm ballsy or if I'm not ballsy. All right, here we are. The most beautiful zombies map of all time. Obviously looks a lot better in the BO3 remaster, but here we are in Black Ops 1. We're at the M14 right now. Not trying to risk anything. I love how of all maps to do shitty on, it was Call of the Dead. Round one, you actually can't do any worse than that. You know, to be entirely honest, I didn't think I was gonna get very far with George Romero on that map anyways. I just realized something. Every time a drop spawns, a monkey is gonna be chasing after it. I'm gonna get hit by one of those monkeys. See, see, I gotta be very, very careful of that. That is going to bone me. Shangri-La is definitely one of the most challenging maps of all time. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't like it. Also, a lot of people don't like it because, well, the boss zombies are just annoying. Like these fucking monkeys. If I get hit by one of these, I swear to Christ. People don't like the boss zombies, myself included, but at least you can take advantage of them. The napalm zombie, you can use as a trap. Same thing with a shrieker zombie. And, you know, the monkeys, you can get a free perk from them. You can change what, to whatever drop you want it to be. These bosses can be taken advantage of. Anyways, let's get out of spawn. I am not trying to sit there. Like, what do I do? Do, do I camp on the bridge? Do I try to train? No matter what I do, I'm gonna get hit before round five. I normally grab the Bowie knife on this map as well, but again, that's just too risky. Shangri-La is a very hit or miss map for people. Most people don't like it, but the people that do like it really like it because of how challenging it is. It's basically just a very challenging map in a beautiful atmosphere. That's what I come to this map for. I come to this map for a challenge, but also to enjoy and just take in the exotic beautiful environment. I know I'm saying a lot of positive things about this map when I could be saying a lot of shitty things, but you know, I'm trying to be optimistic. The map is especially beautiful when you just look off into the distance. Just the beautiful Himalayas. See, with Shangri-La now, we got a lot of perk options. We got Deadshot Daiquiri, Stamina, PhD Flopper, Mule Kick, Double Tap, Speed Cola. I think the list ends there. Of course, we can pack a punch, we can get the Baby Maker, but getting the Baby Maker is actually a very risky move because to kill zombies with that thing, you gotta run into a horde. Turn on the power. Number one. Number two. Very cool. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, we're getting a little bit overwhelmed. A little bit overwhelmed. Okay, this is tough. I fucking hate my life. You know what? Good. I didn't need it anyways. And of course, the final Black Ops 1 map, Moon. The anti-gravity is bound to throw me into a zombie and fuck me over, so I guess we'll just see. The last thing we wanna do is get hit at area 51. 
Am I right? All right, let's just get out of here. I am not risking anything. Let's just leave. Grab my PES, my PES. Not even gonna stay in here. I'm going to leave. Moon is a very controversial map. There are so many shitty qualities to it, like the cosmonaut that steals your perks. The excavators are very annoying because of how consistent they are. You have the anti-gravity. You have going back to Earth to get Jug every other visit. You know, a lot of shitty qualities. But Moon, in my opinion, does have the best Easter egg of all time. Has one of the better wonder weapons ever in the Zap Guns. A lot of cool innovations. Mule Kick, you know... It did a lot of things right as well. Yeah, Moon is a tricky one for me. I want to love it. I don't love it, but I, I really, really enjoy it, if that makes any sense. Pretty much every time I play this map with friends, I do the Easter egg on it. You can't actually do it solo, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so many memories. This map is super nostalgic. One of the most nostalgic maps for me, just because how many times I've played it. Moon is actually my brother's favorite map, and, um, you know, I can see why. It's just not everybody's cup of tea, I suppose. Nice. Dude, that's what I love about Moon. Seeing zombies just fly the fuck around. Can you die? Can you die? Can you die? One, two, three, four. There we go. God damn it. I don't want to buy more ammo for that. I'm going to go grab the... What do we got here? The MPL? That's right. There's so many. Oh, nuke. Yeah, boys. Nukes are actually pretty good for this challenge. I'm not going to lie. Let's just go. Let's just go and maybe spin the box or something. Turn on power. There we go. Excavator pie. Where's excavator pie when I actually want it while I'm doing the Easter egg? I mean, come on. This is just outrageous. A classic no ammo on moon with 400,000 zombies surrounding me. Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm fucking trapped. I'm, I was trapped. Here we are, boys. Black Ops 2 zombies. You know what time it is, boys? It's time to play the best map ever developed. Transit. And only transit. I'm not playing bus depot, farm, or town. I just don't want to make this longer than it needs to be. Why, hello. Now, this is going to be tricky. I'm curious to see how these BO2 zombies are going to compare to the BO1 and World at War ones. The World at War zombies were pretty easy on me. The Black Ops 1 zombies, pretty challenging. We'll see how it compares and contrasts through these games. Not going to lie, it's been a minute since I've played Transit. Let's be extra careful as I'm knifing. All right, let's get this turbine. He's pretty far away. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, we get a good part for the bus. Hopefully, we can get anything done. Pack-a-punch, even while not doing this challenge, is damn near impossible, let alone uh, getting any perks or anything. We'll add this, and we will have a good day. Grab my trusty B23R. We'll keep our distance. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. Hello, Rick Toffin. Good morning. Transit is, without a doubt, one of the most hated maps of all time. Is it justified? Yeah, I would say so. There are definitely a ton of design flaws. The lava is pretty annoying. Uh, the fog is really annoying. The denizens, of course. The bus is leaving without me. Uh, the bus is pretty annoying. Pretty much everything about Transit is annoying. Not to mention, the fog is unbearable. The engine simply couldn't handle the aspiration that Treyarch was going for with this map. So they had to cover most of it up with fog, which just not only makes it look bad, but plays bad. I don't personally hate Transit. I think it's so bad that it's laughably bad. And when a map is laughably bad, you can still have fun on it with friends just because of how fucking crazy it is. Yeah, I've never been one of those people that just blindly hated Transit. I do dislike the map. But for good reason, but I'm, I'm pretty objective about it. I'm pretty fair about this map. Transit did do some things pretty well. Like, uh... Okay, Transit may not have... No, oh, I almost got hit. Ooh, a ladder. Do. So normally what I do on this map is I grab Galba Knuckles, but A, I don't have the part for it right now, and B, I don't think it's wise to be knifing zombies in this challenge, because that is begging to get murked. So let's spin the box instead. Give me something good. Raygun Mark II. Raygun Mark II. Raygun Mark II. Okay. Okay. Bus is leaving. Bus is leaving. Bus is leaving. Ted, fucking leave. Ted, it's no secret. Fucking drive the bus! The most irrelevant part of the map. I'm gonna open up that door so I don't get boned right there because there are gonna be a lot of zombies. What is even in farm? I guess there's double tap and a couple parts for a turret. I think that's pretty much it. I'm actually gonna place this ladder on this side of the bus. So I can climb up it when I need to. There we go. All right. Let's go, Ted. Take me to where I need to be. I'm actually doing pretty good for transit. You gotta admit. Instead of buying the AK at the power station, I'm gonna just refill my ammo here. And find a corner and camp in it. Because that's probably the safest option. Why am I scared right now? I'm actually kind of really scared right now. I gotta run. Grab that. Run. Oh, there's the hand right there. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, that was close. Oh, I just bought ammo. That is such a boner. Did it get any fucking brighter in here? God damn. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ooh, look at that. 
What's that? What's that? Ah, oh, I got hit. You know what? I'm gonna finish this round. All right, well, it was six, not seven, but uh, yeah, I'm glad that's over. Now we can move on to Nuketown, I believe is next chronologically. It's just as bad looking as I remember it to be. So Nuketown is definitely a great multiplayer map, but I was never really crazy about it being a zombies map. Don't get me wrong. This is a map that I can hop on and have fun with friends, especially with friends. But um, other than that, I, I just don't find myself ever playing this map. So yeah, to me, Nuketown has always been a map that I can just hop on with a couple people and just play a mindless game of zombies and, you know, just have fun. It's never been anything that I've taken too seriously. I don't think it's a great map. I think the design is pretty bad, actually, which is why it's definitely one of the worst maps, in my opinion. But I don't hate it. Like, I, I seriously don't. There's only one map in zombies that I genuinely hate, and we're going to get to that pretty soon. Awesome. Which way should we go? Should we go, uh... The greenhouse where I typically train or to the yellow house where the box is. You know, I think the box is a little more important right now. Stop running. You're scaring the children. Oh, boy. All right, reload, reload. There we go. I'm a genius. Oh, there we go. One of the worst things about this map, or best, depending on how you're looking at it, was the random perk spawn. It sometimes offered a challenge, sometimes just annoyed you. I do like the concept of having to survive without jug for a certain amount of time. But around 20, around 25, that's a little bit ridiculous. I'm okay with Jug spawning in around 15. I really am. 20, 25, you're pushing the limits, though. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <sighs> Not great for points, but I don't care. Give me the Rega Mach 2, please. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty... Why do I still hear the Transit bus? And why did I get the DSR like I did on Transit? Dude, I'm telling you, they're calling me back to play that map again. I will not listen! I'm not going back! Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Ooh, double points. Aw, oh, fuck. As soon as I said that, too. All right, round five. Now we're going to play the only zombies map I genuinely hate, Die Rise. I like every single zombies map, but this one, I just can't. It's for various reasons. Most of the time when I play this map, I fall to my death rather than the zombies killing me. Fall damage and falling to your death is indicative of you being a poor jumper rather than being killed by zombies, which is why I have such a problem with it. They also teased PhD, which would have been the most effective on this map. I also just don't enjoy the environment of this map. I'm not going to sit here and complain the entire game. I realize that some people like it. I'm not trying to anger people. Everyone's got one map that they just can't stand. And for me, it's this one. Oh, and did I mention the elevators? Yeah, I, I hate those. Uh, oh. I might just chill here for a minute. They can't hop up here, can they? Oh, they're all around me. And I got the key. Yay. Awesome. If I had enough, I would pack a punch, to be honest. Again, don't need jug or quick revive. No, don't fucking hit me. Oh, he's the last zombie too. Chill, 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 chill. I think that'll kill him for sure. Yeah, I, I shot him already. That's definitely gonna kill him. Oh, good. Well, let's let's attempt to build this liquefier. Oh my god, I don't have that much ammo, and I'm going to be surrounded very shortly. I need, like, uh, an automatic weapon. Oh, 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 there's a gun. Yep, yep, there we go, there we go. All right, I'm gonna sit right here. Eh. Come on. Well, I was gonna make a crawler. You know what? I'll grab it. Fuck it. No! There's a part. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. I just gotta make sure I don't get surrounded. A little easier said than done, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh god. Not good, not good. You gotta die. You gotta die, please. Thank you. Oh no. Sir. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh, we didn't get hit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm pulling some super saiyan shit right now. I need a, 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 I need a circle fire part. Build it. Build it. Quicker. Build it. I don't have a, oh, there's a fourth one. I forgot. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What do I do? Oh, I gotta go grab more ammo. Oh, fuck. This is the end. This is absolutely the end. Absolutely the end. I'm going to get hit by one of these things. There is no chance I don't get hit. Yep, yep. Round seven. That, like, like that's literally impossible. Now we're gonna play the best map of all time, Mob of the Dead. You know, if I just stay in after, like, the whole time, I'll never lose this challenge. LOL, JK. Let's go. What makes Mob of the Dead the best map of all time? Everything. The characters, the story, the atmosphere, the weapons, the high rounds, the map itself, you know, Alcatraz, everything makes this map the best map of all time. Normally, I don't grab the M14, but for these challenges, I think it's a smart investment. Normally, I just grab the double points, knife away. Guess I should actually grab that right now. I know seeing gameplay of earlier rounds is definitely not as exciting as, you know, being on higher rounds with wonder weapons and all that kind of stuff. And maybe that's what you were looking for when you clicked on this video, but I think a challenge 
not only makes this video shorter and actually viable to upload, but also more special. Honestly, I have no expectations for this. I'm not going to set any because when I set some, I typically just suck and never meet them. So we'll just wing it like we did on Dairaz. The reason why I'm not being efficient with my afterlives is because I'm not expecting to live very long anyways. Hey there, big girl. You want a snacky wacky? You want a snack of wackers? There you go. What's a good girl? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, good thing uh, Poochie is done. Let's go get some stuff. We got the Warden's Key here. No, we do not. Uh, let's just go in Afterlife anyways. We will turn on the Warden's Office. We will turn on Speed Cola. I'm probably just going to sit in this area of the map for a while and collect points. What else could I do? Ooh, I could go shock this drop over here. Now, I've talked about Mob of the Dead so many times on my channel during live streams and, of course, in videos. I just, you know, I, I don't know what to say. This map is my favorite map of all time. It's easily a top three best map of all time, objectively, without a doubt. I would say this, Origins, and, I don't know, like, maybe... To rise and drag, throw, we'll throw whatever third map you want in there. But yeah, Mob of the Dead, just an absolute classic. Saved Black Ops 2 Zombies, if we're being honest. You know, the past three maps I just played, they weren't fantastic. They weren't doing the trick. Oh, I got hit. Aw, oh, man, round four. Now we are going to bury. Here we are. Uh, I think what we should do is try to get that LSAT up there. Buried is definitely one of the more creative maps ever. Super unique. Uh, I don't know how it fends in like a in a ranking maybe it would be top 10 for some people for me i'd say top 15. <laughs> what the fuck all right this is the ultimate test there we go hell yeah buried to me is like that one friend that one friend that when you're around is a great friend you have no problems with when you're not around them you kind of talk shit about them sometimes glad i grabbed this it's like a guaranteed uh Save me a gun. Buried is just a little too easy for my taste, especially with the Paralyzer and Vulturate on top of the bank or wherever you want to camp, whether, you know, there's a subsurface resonator, all of these overpowered features. The map is just a little bit too easy. The bank system is too easy to take advantage of. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Great atmosphere, great vibe, great story, great everything else. I would knock it down from a top 10 map to a top 15 map. It's got its flaws. It's got its good qualities. It's, it's buried. I have no fear. Alcohol is here. That's right. Drink it up, buddy. Have fun today. This is the last time you're gonna have fun. I'm gonna camp in Leroy's prison cell. Ooh, there's the alcohol. That's gonna be helpful. Hey, no! And, uh, ooh, I gotta escape. I gotta escape. That was clutch. That was clutch. There you go. Take it down, boy. There's so many things to do on this map. It's honestly a little bit overwhelming. Normally, I build the Galvin Knuckles in one of these areas, but... <laughs> again... Not gonna be using those, so I'll just build this here instead. Let's go to the candy shop and get the uh, the box nailed down. Let's do that. Oh, there it is. Here you go, limp dick. Keep that box down for me, boy. Oh no, he got angry. You had one job. Now you're gonna rage and kill the crawler, huh? Is that how it's gonna be? God damn. Oh great. Oh my god, that's that's scary. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Stop chasing me! Holy shit! That's so scary. It's so scary when a nine foot tall motherfucker's chasing you with his arms flailing around. You know what? I'm just gonna spin the box anyways. It's not gonna move on the first attempt. <laughs> Imagine it does. What do we got? Ooh, a cap 40. I'll just go fuck myself. These zombies are getting very, very fast, very, very quickly. Yeah, hey, uh, Leroy, get out of the way because you're gonna get pissed off as soon as this thing explodes. Oh, you little baby. You fucking baby. This is why I hate you. No! Holy crap! That scared me. Alright, we got the power on. Dude, I'm honestly tempted to just leave him in there. I, I seriously just don't even want to deal with him. No! Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, well, I guess that's the end. Last but not least, we got Origins. I don't have any expectations for this either. Let's get it. So, I'm not sure how you guys feel about Origins and the remaster, but I like the original Origins far more than the Black Ops 3 version. It's a lot less glitchy. The BO3 version is so glitchy, especially with the robots. This map is extremely difficult and complex for beginners. I remember my brother teaching me how to play this map. We'd sit up all night playing this shit, and it was... It was some great memories there. My goal is to try to get a staff. It's not going to happen, believe me, but I, I want to get a staff. I guess we'll go uh, activate Gen 3 now. I think objectively speaking, this is the greatest map of all time, it, pretty much because of the story, but also the map is fantastic. The four ultimate staffs, you guys know it already. This map is just fantastic. It's not even my favorite. In fact, if we're talking about like purely subjective favorites, it's not even in my top five. 
But uh, if I'm looking at it objectively, then yeah, it's one of the best, if not the. My favorite staff on this map is the fire staff. I like it a lot more when it snows than when it rains because it looks cooler and because you can grab ice staff parts. Oh, shield part. I'm gonna go for it. Something good, something good, something good. Probably wasn't a good decision to do that, but uh, I guess we'll take this. Okay, we got a robot coming in. Uh, I'm not gonna run over to the other side. If it's here, that's good. If it's not, then I'm not gonna stress about it. Is it here? It is. There we go. Oh, yeah. As if I'm actually gonna build that staff. <laughs> this drop right here should have been on more maps. This is one of the coolest drops. That's not a cool drop. The surface value of the map isn't that scary, but like when you walk through the trenches and those bunkers, man, it, it does it does give you that kind of gut-wrenching vibe. Disc. The disc though. Okay, cool. Grab that. Okay, be quick about it. Quick about it. Dude, we're actually getting some work done here. A second wind staff piece. All right. Ooh, the third shield piece. Dude, we're actually getting shit done. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself because I, I am jinxing myself right now. But like, I don't know, man. We're doing good. Let's turn this on. Oh, there's a zombie right next to me, isn't there? Well, this shield will be very helpful because the zombies can hit my shield as long as they're not damaging me. Oh, uh, oop, they hit my shield. See? I already saved my life. Oh, no. You know what? I'm scared. So it seems like an appropriate time to hop on here. Take me away. Stay back. Stay back. Yes, we made it. Oh, why'd I do that? I had some time on my hands. You can shut the hell up. How's that? The Panzer! Oh, I forgot about the Panzer! I totally fucking forgot! There's no way I'm going to survive without getting hit once. There is absolutely not a chance. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought I would have hopped on Origins and forgot there was a fucking Panzer sold at? Oh, there it is. There it is. Round eight. Here we are, Black Ops 3 Zombies. There are a couple of things I need to say. Number one, no gobblegum. All right, no mega, no classic, nothing. We're going bare bones here. Also, um, there are 14 maps in this game. We're only playing the actual BO3 maps. None of these remasters that we've already played. I already played Doris. Am going to play the Giant, though, because the Giant is sort of its own entity, even though it's a copy and paste. We're going to start off with Shadows of Evil, of course. Let's do it. We're actually here. We've made it this far. If you've made it this far in the video... <laughs> You're a trooper, an absolute trooper. So uh, once again, quick revive. There we go. Quick revive, jug, not gonna be helpful to us. Um, the Black Ops 3 zombies are very strong, fast, unpredictable. They spawn everywhere. I think this is gonna be the hardest one thus far. I wouldn't be surprised if I do poorly. But anyways, yeah, enough of the, uh, the negativity. Let's get going. I'm gonna grab 500 free points over here first. There we go, look at that. There we go. I'm always flawless with this, guys. Always flawless. At least I spawn in with an RK-5. That is a little bit helpful. So Shadows of Evil, it's it's a little bit controversial. A lot of people do not like this map because it's the launch map and people, you know, just didn't like how difficult and unfamiliar it felt as a launch map. And I understand that, but I think Shadows of Evil... Uh, for me, at least, is a top five map of all time. It's my fourth favorite map of all time. I absolutely adore this map. It's so good. It grew on me. I didn't like it a ton at first either, but yeah. The story, the atmosphere especially, the gameplay is super fun as well. I think it's very balanced. Super good map. Ritual numero uno. We gotta be very careful not to get hit by Squidward. This is definitely one of those maps that got better with age. People started appreciating it more. As time progressed, same thing with Zetsubo, I think, even though Zetsubo is worse than this map, in my opinion. Dude, the jazz music is literally half of what makes this map. I mean, if there was no jazz music on this map, it'd still be good, but... I mean, goddamn. Oh, I almost didn't make that. Ooh! That was a really risky, risky one. I didn't even see him there. Yeah, boy. Oh, we're gonna get a Margwa. That's gonna be tricky. Oh, by the way, I'm not counting Parasites. If a Parasite shoots me, I'm not counting it as a hit. That's that's unfair. That's actually unfair because there's gonna be 8,000 of them flying around There we go No, oh Holy shit What's that what's that what's that speed cola? I think I might actually just buy that because because what else do we need? You know pack a punch double tap widows would be actually actually no widows what doesn't help because if I get hit it doesn't matter speed cola and no ammo to... Oh, I got hit. Here we go. See, the, the giant <laughs> is a lot like Doris. Now, while Shadows of Evil was a very complicated giant map, this map was familiar. It was something that we could play and have a simple, fun game on to sort of uh, 
counteract Shadows of Evil. So this was the perfect tag-along to Shadows of Evil's launch, which is why I think this map was largely successful, and obviously a remaster of fan favorite will never hurt. I wouldn't say better or worse than Darice. That's totally up to you whether or not you like the next-gen version or the old-gen version. All right, my goal on this map is to get Pack-a-Punch. I think that is actually a very obtainable goal. I just need to be careful, obviously, as with, as with every other map in this challenge. All right, I'll grab that, but I'm gonna give it a minute. I remember my friends and I arguing as to who was going to open up this door all the time. You know, people would open up these two doors, and then when it got to that door, it was always a competition to see how long we could last in here before someone caved in and opened up that door. Yeah, it was always a competition to see who had to open that up, and then the other person who had enough points left would go uh, spin the box. Now we're on That's step one of this process. See, in Black Ops 3, you can actually knife them without lunging forward. So you know what? It's actually not that difficult to knife them. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, see? Oh no. Oh no. This is not a good place to be. Oh, I thought I got hit. Nice, we lived! I just want to be able to say that I upgraded a gun in this challenge. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. Alright, one off, preferably, you know? I mean, whoa! Ooh, there we go. We're getting close. All right, last one. Let's see if we can make it there alive. We made it to pack. Now let's see if we can live to actually pack. Nice. No, no, no! The Iron Dragon. Let's do it. Dryzen Drac, my second favorite map of all time, right behind Maw of the Dead. I think it's a top five map of all time. This map is, it's got everything, man. It's got the great story. It's got the great atmosphere. There is nothing more I could ask for on a map than Dryzen Drac. It hits everything for me. The medieval, ooh, I didn't even mean to do that. I wasn't even thinking. Well, I can't grab it no matter what. You guys don't necessarily have to follow that rule if you choose to do this on your own. That's sort of just the thing I decided to do to make this a little more interesting. Also, what I'm trying to do is restrict myself from just purely camping because I could just grab a powerful weapon, sit in the corner, and get to around 20, possibly. But, you know, I'm not about that. I I'm going to try to move around a little bit. I'm trying to actually get stuff done and failing most of the time. But at least I'm trying. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I really like this map, too. This always happens on my favorite maps. It happened on Call of the Dead. Mob of the Dead, I didn't do terrific on. Dryzen Jack, I just failed. Correct swamp it is. Zetsubo is a love-hate map for me. You know, sometimes, especially on the higher rounds, I love it. But to get to that point, setting up, it's a bitch. It's a tedious, long setup process that usually loses my interest within 10 minutes. I, I'm not in love with this map, but it, it does have a lot of great qualities to it. Innovated just a little bit. Um, not a bad map. Not a bad map. I don't think it's spectacular. It's not a top 5 for me. It's not a top 10 for me. But it's not a bottom 5. The trickiest part is what do I do? You know, on the earlier maps, I could just hop on and survive because the maps were so simple. But now we got these really complex big maps. What should I be trying to do? Obviously, on ZNS, there's no possible way I'm going to go an entire game without getting hit, so I'm not going to go for everything. These pods, along with the thrashers, are the reasons why I don't like this map. That and the setup process, I think, both cancerous. But other than that, I really like the atmosphere, and I like pretty much everything else about it. Yay, I'm swimming! I just realized this locust camo is perfect for this map. It looks like I upgraded it. Alright, although I don't think I'm going to survive very long, I will move out of this spawn area, because... I can't imagine this video being very entertaining with me just sitting and spawning the entire game. Give me something good for the viewers. Oh, I, I want something better. Come on. I, I, I expect more from you, Box. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, this is actually going to be pretty easy to get hit. I got to get in a corner. Oh, God, I hear him. No. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, no. No, no. Oh, I got hit. Well, I didn't get hit hit. I got... Web. I didn't really clarify that because I was talking earlier about the pair. You know what? I got hit. <laughs> I got hit. All right. That leaves us with. Oh, I skipped it. Garage, Crovy, and Revelations. Where'd you go, Mr. Oh, there's Mr. Dragon. How you doing there, Mr. Dragon? Oh, another dragon. Garage, Crovy. What are my opinions on this map? Um, the Easter egg. Not gonna lie, pretty ass. High rounds are pretty challenging with the Mark III. They're not a very dependable water weapon. This map does have a lot of flaws, but overall, it is a pretty good map. Are you the last zombie? You are! Okay, let's get out of here. Getting the shield on this map is actually going to be a very good idea. Very good. Uh, that and probably spinning the box. Shield piece number... Two. Alright. No! <gasps> How did I not get hit? I honestly should have died right there. 
Maybe this game wants me to live. If it does, it'll give me the Mark III. Oh, close enough. I just need good guns, really. And then I could possibly get Double Tap and all them other perks. <gasps> Monkeys! Alright, there we go. Power on. Alright, well, you know what? Actually, let's shut. Ooh, I almost died. Let's give it a try. Stop hitting it! Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, God, he's behind me. Oh, I got hit. And last but not least for Black Ops 3, we've got Rev. The biggest disappointment of a climax ever. But other than the Easter egg and the anticlimactic story, to be honest, I don't even know how I feel about this map. Part of me really enjoys it because the high rounds are uh, pretty easy but fun. And you know, there's a lot of cool weapons. But then again, it's, it's really easy because of that as well. I think this map is just too easy, too watered down relies too much on nostalgia. Once you get past that nostalgia, this map is really kind of just not only boring, but also unfulfilling. I don't actually hate playing it, especially with friends, because it can be fun. You know, it has a lot of cool things in it, but most of it is just surface value things that when brushed off, leave you with nothing. Also, I don't really know which direction I should go in quite yet. I have a lot of options. Let's go to Origins. No, no, oh, I got hit. <laughs> I love the zombie spawns in this game! They just come out from everywhere! Here we are, Black Ops 4 Zombies. Thankfully, we already have realistic mode, which means if you get hit once, you die anyway, so we don't even have to worry about keeping track of it. The game will just end once we get hit, so I'll put it on realistic mode. Of course, we're gonna start with Voyage of Despair. Just like BO3 with the Gobble Gum, I'm not gonna use Elixir in BO4. Well, I only have a frag, because I just prestige recently, and I can only use the Welling, so this is gonna be fun. I haven't played this map in quite some time. We're gonna see how this goes, man. The zombies are not... One knife, one kill on round one on realistic mode. So that's fantastic. I used all of my ammo and there's still this many zombies left on round one. That's right, I got a frag though. There we go. Yeah, that did the trick. In the meantime, I'm going to buy the Strife and save up for Dying Wish to give myself- SHUT UP SHAW! I'm gonna wait to buy Dying Wish because I get an extra life with that. Again, even if I get stuck, I'm not allowed to use my elixirs. You guys can if you do this challenge, I'm just choosing not to. Let's relax, let's relax, let's relax. Settle down. Oh boy, what is that, what is that? Ooh, an insta-kill? <gasps> Clutch. Hey, look. My gun's useful now. The only thing that I enjoy about Voyage of Despair is the atmosphere and the aesthetic. I think that's really cool. The idea of the Titanic is really cool. But other than that, I think it kind of fell flat. That's just my opinion. The gameplay, much to be desired. The Easter egg was so much wasted potential. Imagine saving the ship from sinking or something. Imagine how cool that would have been. I'm gonna pull this out, by the way. Holy shit. I just, I'm not in love with this map. I never really loved it or liked it a ton. I do like it a little bit. Uh, I won't say anything more, because I know a lot of people like this map. I don't want to shit on it. Uh, yep, there it is. All right, let's go buy a new gun. No ammo and really not enough points to buy anything either, so... Actually, yeah, I might be screwed. Or I could go buy some ammo for the strife. They're just eating these bullets. Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay, can't go that way. That's all right, we're training, we're training. It's round four, and it's already getting pretty damn near impossible. I'm screwed. Yep, I'm done. Well, at least I have this. I mean, this is ridiculously hard. Come on, move, 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 assholes. Oh, a nuke. Okay. Should I buy the Mog? It can't be much worse than the Strife. Yeah, this ain't a huge step up. It's a step up, not a big one. I just, I'm dependent on the specialist coming up here. Oh, no. Eat it. Eat the bullet. No! Don't hit me. Oh, my God. I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, 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 oh. Run, 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 run. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Yes, yes, dude. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, my God. That was so epic. Die. I'm not expecting much with Black Ops 4, to be completely honest, guys. It's it, it's really tough, as you can see. The game doesn't cut you any slack. Oh, there it is. Now, I technically survived five rounds, but this game likes to tickle you in the balls and give you a lower round, so... Yeah, thanks for four. I'm actually pretty relieved that's over. Let's go back to realistic mode. Nine is up next. Let's do it, boys. All right, here we go. Nine. The single good map that came of this game. Besides Ancient Evil, in my opinion. This map was the least anticipated, the least... Uh, 
you're you're fucking with me. Here I am. Nine is the greatest map in Black Ops 4. No, fuck you. All right, Ricky Toffin, cheer me up after that fatal death on nine. Yay! Blood of the dead. You know what's gonna be really interesting is uh, the catwalk. Unrealistic. They may as well not even give me a starting weapon. Because this, this really does nothing. Alright, we'll throw a grenade and back away this time. Good boy, Tim. Should I open this up and not have any ammo? Or should I buy a MOG? Which proved itself to not be worthy. Okay, well, it's doing something right now. I guess we can enjoy that for the next round. Because we all know damn well on round three, it's going to be useless. Good boy. Who's your good boy? 25% of me enjoys this map because it's so similar to Mob of the Dead. Which is my favorite map of all time. But the other 75% of me doesn't enjoy this map at all. I haven't even tried the Easter egg because of how many glitches and uh, how impossible it seems. There are some good returning features, but most of the returning features are the parts that we didn't want back. And they cut out a lot of the good qualities of Mob of the Dead. The map doesn't flow nearly as well as Mob, which is another reason why I don't like it. It makes sense that they took out the Golden Gate Bridge, but that was a huge part of the map and taking it out just kind of feels empty. And there's also this intangible, inexplicable feeling of the game just feeling bland and boring in general, which is something I can't really use to justify why this map is worse than Mob, but I just have this vibe, this gut feeling. This map doesn't meet the expectations I had following Mob. Ooh, an insta-kill. That would be good. Let me, let me, uh, wrap around here. Grab that. Whoa! He was behind me in the barrier. He was behind me in the barrier. He was behind me in the barrier. See? See? The tiniest little flaws. Now you know I'm not cheating because if I was, I would be cutting out all of these shitty fails and I would be replacing them with actual good runs. We're gonna hop on Classified, which is of course the remaster of five, and uh, we're gonna have a blast because this is one of the better maps in this game. All right, cool. Here we are. I actually didn't pick my perks or my specialist, I just realized because I swapped from Chaos to Ether. Well, regardless, we're not gonna live long anyways. Everyone relax. Everyone... Let's just relax. Wow. One zombie with that clip. All right, cool. I guess we'll save that. You know what? Let's spin the box. Give me the Winter's Howl, fam. Give me the Winter's Howl, fam. Okay. Okay, there's that part. Yeah, they, they're they they're rampant right now. They, they are angry. They are frustrated. And they're trying to kill me. Which I think is unfair, if we're being honest. And there are dogs. Well, this is the end of me. Actually, dogs can't one-hit you unrealistic. I'm just gonna camp here for another round. Classified is honestly not a bad map at all. I actually really enjoy it. It's just like 5, of course, but they fixed a lot of the issues. Like, the teleporters are far more consistent. The Winter's Howl got buffed major. The Area 51, I could actually go without. I don't need to pack a punch there. I honestly liked it the old way. But uh, other than that... You know, they, they really did do a great job with this. This map, 9 and Ancient Evil, are the only maps I tend to go out of my way to play. Wow, this strife does jack shit, I'll tell you that. All right, come on, we can get the power on, Tim. We can get the power on. Yes. And the last shield part, sweet. Let's go build that real quick. We'll actually spin the box real quick. Come on, give me the Winter's Howl, 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 Winter's Howl. Oh man, hopefully I don't get hit in the back. Oh no. One burst, one kill, yep. They're not that bad. That was actually painless, literally. So, yeah, let's grab this. You came really quick. That's what she said. <gasps> What's this? Not very helpful. You know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. I wanna live. Whoa, 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 I thought I killed you. Holy crap, that could have been bad. Oh, 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 they're sneaking up. <gasps> yes. This is a lot scarier than you guys think it is. Oh my god! Go! Watch our back so we don't get hit from behind. Oh no, or from the front! Okay. All right. Well, they are pretty tough to kill, even with the, okay. Well, now, now they're not. Yo, I think they. I think there are more zombies unrealistic too. I don't just think they're stronger and faster. Let's give it up for the Witch's Howl Rampage. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. This thing isn't very good, is it? Well, I mean, we are unrealistic, so nothing's really good. Oh, I do have my explosives. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty fucking dope. Going again. Going again. Oh, that was close. Honestly, I'm really startled. I should- ah! Let's train. Let's train. Because camping just- Just isn't working out. Alright, this is a perfect chance to uh, use this. Oh my god. Look at that. Bonus points! Risk my life for the bonus points! See, I don't like this. I like the old days where you just came in here and pack a punch. You gotta grab a part now. Hello. I'm sorry. Dog round. Good or bad, I don't even know anymore. Let's go upgrade. Let's go upgrade. I don't really care what I upgrade, I just need to say that I did it. Okay, there we go. I did it, boys. We'll get one double pack on it. Before I die, hopefully. What we get? 
What do we get? B firebomb. Okay. This isn't very good. It, it, it's not very good for some reason. Okay, well, I had that. Hey, uh, teleporter, were we planning on, like, leaving at some point? I'm gonna die. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. I can't use any elixir to get out of this situation. Bro! <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna die. Death perception is actually really good for this. That way, people can't really sneak up on you that easy. Seems about that time. Okay. Oh my god. I... Dude. Okay. For this challenge, Black Ops 4 Zombies is definitely the hardest because the zombies themselves actually increase with realistic mode. I could just play it the regularly like I was earlier and go on and just quit the game when I get hit once, but I want to play realistic to give myself more of a challenge. All right, Dead of the Night, here we go. This is definitely the better side. It has the strife on it rather than the Essex. I'm so glad I have character quotes off right now because if I did, I'd have to listen to her talk the entire game. I got my panties in a twist on it! I don't want to die <laughs> on round one. That would suck. That would really suck. Look at that. All right. Well, we'll buy the strife. Chill in here for another round. This map did not receive a hype trailer like most zombies maps do, so nobody really cared for the release of this map. I think it will go down as one of the least appreciated maps, but I still think it's pretty bad in my opinion. I think the map is just way too hard for the average player to get pack a punch. There's way too many shield locations, too many things to do, and not enough rewards. There are other maps like Origins, for example, that have a ton of things to do as well, but A, they're more rewarding, and B, they're not as hard to remember. I just feel like I'm constantly trying to remember things on this map not actually enjoying the gameplay and that's one of the biggest problems also the Nosferatu's I just think that if turning on Pack-a-Punch was easier to obtain this map would be a lot better and I also think if they reduce the amount of Nosferatu's this map would be a lot better the atmosphere like most maps is pretty cool but that's the only thing I give this map credit for everything else I don't particularly like and again everyone's subject to their own opinion I just like to give my my thoughts as we enter each map because uh that's a that's half of what this video is. All right, let's just use our specialist. What are we saving it for? There we go. Holy shit. I'm sorry to limit myself. I know it must be frustrating for some of you guys that want me to try to do everything, but I'm not going to try for pack a punch. It's difficult without playing this challenge as it is. I just want to try to get some good guns and live it out because you've seen how it's been going. No. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. I get it. Specialist time. All right. All right. No! Alistair's Foley, Alistair's Foley, Alistair's Foley, Alistair's Foley. Mmm, okay, the Galil. I don't have the advantage of a shield in this match, so I'm probably gonna die very shortly! Ah! No! No! Oh, that's not a door! That's a fireplace! How did I confuse that with a fucking door? Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I mean, it should have been game over. Nuke, 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 nuke. I'm so good. I'm so good. Did you see that? I'm so good. I'm just gonna spin it until it moves or gives me the Alice. Okay. Oh, wow. And the last map we're gonna be hopping on is Ancient Evil, the most recent DLC within Black Ops 4. So anything beyond this point, if you're watching this in the future, obviously won't be included in this video. So let's do this. All right. Oh yeah, they're, they're pretty strong. I forgot. At least the game lined them all up for me. Make things slightly easier. All right. Well, I got my trusty frag grenades. Of course, at a distance this time. Ooh, double points. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is... TWICE! I kill myself- I kill myself with a frag grenade on my two favorite maps in this game, Nine and Ancient Evil. What the fuck? I was just gonna talk about how much I loved Ancient Evil, because I do love the map. I think it's one of the more creative maps. I think it's one of the best in terms of mythology and the story and all that. My highest round was 15 on Ascension, and my lowest round was 0 on 9 because I killed myself with a grenade. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the long challenge. If you made it all the way through this video, well... Leave a like, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and let me know. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. Tell me what other variations, what other challenges you would like me to do in this format with every single zombies map. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, go follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. I tell you guys what I'm doing when I'm not uploading, when the uploads are coming, what I'm going to be uploading, running polls, all that kind of good stuff. You guys will contribute to this channel by following me on Twitter. And the Instagram and Discord links are also down there in the description. This was very fun. I enjoyed this immensely and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Hello, Jesus here. You've made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Tim and I both love you, but 
would love you even more if you subscribed and turn on notifications. Check out Tim's most recent video to my right or the previous one to my left. You can subscribe by touching my chest. Touch it softly, please. You're still watching? You're the best.